In the first episode of Double Dash Versus, I beat Troy in the first cup. That means I won, Yeah, right? that means you won. Ooh, Tyler gets the first point. And Troy beat me in the second. Okay. Perfect score. Thank you very much, audience. Thank you very much. We have one more cup to finish to see who wins the best two out of three. The loser is going to have to eat a portion of a banana peel. Let's see what the last cup is going to be. The Star Cup. Star. Let's go. I did not want Baby Park. I can't believe there's it only four out. cups in this game. That is the one flaw this game has, like the major flaw. It just needs more tracks. If it had like 32 tracks, it'd be so good. And then online, obviously. I'm gonna use the same cart, so that's not gonna be a variable anymore. Cool. <laughs> I was playing Sherbert Land earlier, like a couple days ago when I was setting the game up. Yeah. And I was trying to take the shortcut, only to realize that they added that shortcut in a later game. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just plummeted. I shouldn't have even told you. You probably would have tried it. No. <laughs> Not even. Nice try. It's the Mario Kart Wii where that shortcut is. No, that's double. That's no, eight. Mario Kart 8. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Never yeah. mind. Oh, dude. So, how are you liking this cart so far? It's a little faster, but it's uh, harder to control. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Yeah. Take that. No! No! Oh my gosh, that's a huge punishment for hitting those freezies. Brutal. And this is just making me, like, just seeing this icy wonderland is making me so happy that we live in California this winter. <laughs> it's so weird, like, living in California and just seeing, like, every, like, during the winter time, every other state just being, like, smashed by snow and ice. Oh, especially Texas. My heart goes out to everyone in Texas. Like, that snowstorm looked insane. I just can't believe, like, how many pipes broke. Oh, I know. They just do not prepare for that, I guess. Yeah. We're so fortunate over here, we just have our little space heaters in our rooms. You know? Okay, <laughs> also, let's be fair, if LA ever just got like a random ass snowstorm that wasn't expected, it would probably be 10 times worse off than Texas. <laughs> because at least Texas has like hard working, like strong people. <laughs> LA is just a bunch of bitches. So <laughs> it would just be a bunch of people just tweeting complaints nonstop and nothing ever getting fixed probably. <clears throat> Okay, you are starting off way too strong right now. Oh, dude, I have this game down now. I'm, I, it's all coming back to me. I'm snaking. I'm not making any mistakes. Like, it's starting to feel natural. I'm starting to enjoy the game. Mm -hmm. It's all coming back to me. I used to play this game when I was in like middle school, and it was a blast. Play this game all the time. Back then, though, I didn't even drift because it scared me. But I, I had it down. Yeah, I had the tracks down. Yeah, I don't think really any kids drifted to Mario Kart. Yeah, because when you're young, like, you don't read the manual. I wasn't even on the internet looking at video game stuff when I was a kid. So, like, whatever buttons worked, I just pressed those buttons and play the game. I remember discovering yeah. Game Facts, the FAQs, mm -hmm. and game for my Spot very too. first time. Yeah. It was back when Melee was a thing. Yeah. And it may not seem like it right, it, like, anymore, but back when Melee came out, whenever one of your friends would unlock like, a new character that uh -huh. you guys didn't know about, you would all like pop off. You're like, what, Mewtwo's in the game? <laughs> like everybody would own Melee yeah. for like literally a year. Yeah. And we wouldn't know about Mewtwo's existence. Maybe that's just because I'm from the Midwest and none of us were like that in tune with culture. It might be different in like cities and stuff. But in small little country towns, we did not know. Like, yeah, it everything is knowledge. leaked everywhere now. But back then it was totally different. And now you just you know every single character before mm -hmm. the game even comes out. I remember they made it so exciting for all the raw character announcements online. They did such a good job hyping that up. Do you remember that? Oh yeah, I remember yeah. every single morning before I went yeah. to school. I Same. Was, I wasn't allowed to get on the computer in the morning, but I would try to sneak and get on the computer every single morning yeah. so I could check the website to see if they had announced anything new. It was so hype, yeah. And there were so many more characters than Melee, and there was the Subspace Emissary. So me what and the? my friend Colton, like, we would check it all the time and talk about it. And then Toon Link was in the game, and that's when I got super hyped. Toon Link was a really hype edition. Yeah. I think I got the most hyped whenever they announced um, Lucas, for sure. Lucas? Really? I'm just kidding. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. I, I couldn't, <laughs> for some reason, I couldn't think of one of the characters that was added originally. I to think Brawl. Snake I'm was coming. probably the most hype edition. Everyone popped off for Snake. Sonic, everyone was really excited for, and then they realized he just kind of was annoying. Oh, I was actually more excited for Sonic. Or, yeah. Or, yeah, Sonic was was that in Brawl? Or well, was, thing is, we didn't. Yeah, that was in Brawl, right? The thing is, they announced characters, but no, the giant. Wiggler! Oh We didn't know gosh. they played bad until like six months later when the game actually came out. So we yeah. were excited for characters for months, like imagining how is this character gonna play? Like how is it gonna... It's, it's gotcha. pretty interesting how they've switched the way they've like announced that stuff. 
Oh my god. god. Having conversations about playing Mario Kart is it's different really than tough. any other game. Oh, oh, Tyler's is still second? Oh. Oh, dude, I want to see the end digits on yours and his time. It's going to be probably so really close. close. We'll see. Okay, let's see this. <laughs> that's like <laughs> less than 0 0.02 milliseconds. It's like one frame. Oh my god. Yeah. That sucks. That is nothing. So I'm at 10 and you're at 20? Yeah. I don't want any of my <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll split it with you. No, you're not. Yeah, I was just not, this, I'm not gonna let this isn't a banana split. <laughs> Good one. Okay, okay, we have DK Mountain. Uh, oh no, Yoshi Circuit, the best track. I forgot about Yoshi Circuit. Okay, this is gonna be great. This circuit, this uh, DK Mountain's a tough one to end on. I prefer the original Yoshi Circuit in comparison to the remix. Really? Well, I definitely like this one more than the DS one, but I think the um, Mario Kart. It's a game called 8 Deluxe. That one has the best best Yoshi circuit in my opinion, just because I love the part after the tunnel. They redid it and made it way more fun to drive. It's got all these off-road shortcuts, and there's a shrimpless cut, and there's a tire shortcut too. But they got rid of the tunnel, which was really depressing. Like, why did they get rid of the tunnel? The tunnel's the best part of the Double Dash one. I just said that, not even remembering what that level was like, and now you're just like spouting up all these facts, and I'm just like... You remember it now, though, huh? Yeah, yeah and yeah. I'm like second guessing my statement earlier, and I'm like, maybe I don't like this one better. Well, this one's good, don't get me wrong. Um, you know the Mario Kart Wii custom track remake, because they remade every track in Mario Kart Wii as a retro on yeah. the custom track the server we play on. And uh, they have this one. Oh, I just got the red dodge. But what's so great is they have this one, an exact replica remake from Mario Kart Double Dash. So it's this exact one, it's not the one from Mario Kart 8. And it, it's, it's incredible. It, it plays really well, and it's actually one of my favorite tracks. So I've played this one so many times. I pick this one all the time when I play in Mario Kart Wii. This track just looks really good. Oh yeah. And the mini-map is shaped like a Yoshi. I know everybody knows that, but there's gonna be one person watching who doesn't, so that's for you. They're gonna be like, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, look to the right. It's, it looks it's like adorable. And that's a little cookie cutter. Yeah. There's gonna be one person in the comments that, oh my god, I didn't know. What? Yeah. Whenever I'm playing Zelda games, I like to look at the mini-maps and try to find like weird shapes on uh -huh. the mini-maps. Yeah. There's some really funny ones. Like, for some reason, my favorite is the Desert Colossus outside of mm -hmm. Spirit Temple in Ocarina of Time. It looks like a deflated balloon, and it gets me every time. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not even that funny, but for some reason to me, it's hilarious. Because <laughs> sometimes you just gotta find random-ass things in life hilarious. That's what um, my friend Sword of Seals does. He looks at Mario Kart Wii mini-maps, and then he comes up with like what they actually are. And it's always something like really sexual, you know? <laughs> so, so it always gets laughs like on Twitch. And he said it in one of my videos once. And my videos are very PG, but I kept it in there Kart, because I couldn't, you know, not put his humor in there. Because yeah. that's where he thrives. Oh, second place. Now Let's I'm go. trying to see the this track shape as a second You see the clouds, the smiling clouds again? Here to greet us. Oh, that's, and then the, eye, the the sun's not smiling. It just has eyes. Yeah. Poor I guy. think this might... Yeah, that's game. Because <laughs> I'm up by 12 with one race left. So Tyler, you were officially eating the banana. Okay, well I'll do it while we're <laughs> racing this last one. <laughs> that's like, one time I had to eat a habanero while I raced. Is this enough banana kill, you think? And I threw up everywhere. You think this is enough? That's a lot. You need that much. Okay, start this race. You don't have to do that much. You can do... Okay. <laughs> is it really gross? I don't even know how to describe that flavor. It was like very tart. I have to like, can we try it again? There's gonna be a lot of people at home like eating their banana peels right now because they're eating banana while watching and they, they have to try it out. They got to experience it with their boy toucans. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> Oh my god. Are you even supposed to eat banana peels? We should have Googled that. Here, Google it. Oh, I don't know if I can eat more. Why does it taste so bad? I'm just right. Can you eat a banana peel? I'm just gonna fold it in half and do it. I'm gonna go. Bananas themselves are already good sources of those nutrients, so it's not necessary to eat the peel as well, although it's safe to do so. Tyler? You're being safe, I'm proud of you. Eating banana it. peels can expose you to contaminants or pesticides, <laughs> so it's important to scrub them carefully if you happen to like the taste and texture. Tyler, did you like the taste and texture or no? <laughs> no. <laughs> so you might have had some pesticide 
ingestion. However, otherwise you're safe. So um, maybe we'll just put some bug spray in your mouth. And get a little okay. spurt spurt and you'll be okay. Bug spray for pesticide? That's not how that works. <laughs> <laughs> One more okay. track. Yeah. Ceremonial. I'm sorry, While Tyler. I just like cry. I'm so sorry. Oh, this is perfect for it too. DK Mountain. <laughs> the banana oh. track. I hope DK throws a giant banana back at you and it knocks you off the bridge on lap three. That tasted... Uh, did that Google thing say it's safe to eat if you like the taste and texture? Yeah. I want to know who the hell likes the taste and texture of banana peels. I know, right? After eating that, I couldn't even imagine. <laughs> I can't... Was it one of the worst things you ever tasted? Worst? Not worst. Ever. No. Yeah. I would say... But you seem like it was like hard to get down a little bit, right? Like it was on the disgusting Actually, level, for sure. Maybe it was one of the worst things that ever Yeah, like the reaction was pretty bad. I almost I've never seen that last piece. Like I almost that. threw up. <gasps> no. What the? Ma! No. <laughs> Jesus. Well, that was unfortunate. Oh my god. Freaking <laughs> banana. But uh, yeah, that was that was awful. I almost threw up on that last yeah, piece. Yeah, I got the banana. Like, I, I gagged time. and then I was able to hold it in, but. Not I'm just... Oh no, Tyler! What happened? <laughs> I'm just you fall off. I did. Yeah. Oh, well, no, okay. what happened is at that during that very first turn when going down Donkey Kong Mountain. <laughs> Donkey Kong Mountain. <laughs> Saying the whole entire thing I started <laughs> wrong. Right there, when I turned, I got stuck behind this gate, oh, and, and then you lost a ton of time. Oh yeah. Wait, I'm gonna go for a risky shortcut. No. I literally have banana peel stuck in my teeth. Oh, that's a great respawn point. Never mind. We're chilling. Okay, I have. I have the chompers. Here we go. Take me I'm down the go mountain. I'm gonna that shortcut again next lap for sure. Mountain man. You can do a little grass shortcut here. Oh, I missed the item. I was gonna say, you can do the grass shortcut and get the item. Which is really How did cool. they that? The cannon in this game goes forever. I like it. You get a little break. You do? Yeah. I just like want to give props to Nintendo for like this being the game that came after Mario Kart 64. Like, this is yeah. a big step up. Super Circuit was the most recent handheld, and N64 the most recent console, and yeah, it's insane. And then the steps up after have been very small. <laughs> or step step downs. <laughs> Mario Kart 8 has stepped up in a few ways. Most of it is graphics. I'm so sorry everyone watching at home, my perspective. I completely botched the DK Mountain shortcut, both laps. It has been a very long time since I attempted it. But I remember you have to break or something like that. You have to drift and then break and then uh, boost again. I forget how to do it. It's a lot easier to do a Mario Kart Wii. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Yeah, this... After playing this game again, because I've played Mario Kart Wii more recently than I've played this game. Mm -hmm. This game does feel way more slippery and everything in comparison. Like just like comparing the game mechanics as oh, an yeah. adult. Like an experienced gamer who's able to like process different game mechanics better. Yeah, this game actually really holds up. It and definitely does. one thing about the Mario Kart games is they redo the physics engine on every single game, so they're all vastly different from each other and how they play. So this one is really good in certain ways. It's got the manual main turbos, it's got a fast speed, um, and it's extremely slidey and exciting because of the topple effects the items give you. Yeah. You always power forward in this game, so it's extremely, uh, it's, it's just an eccentric game. And I can see why people still think it's one of the best, and some people say it is the best. Thank you for coming to our TED Talk. Top 10 Mario <laughs> Kart game. You heard it here first. Top 10. Anyways, Troy, as you can tell, can talk about Mario Kart all day long. And that's because it's literally what he does for a living. So you should go and check out his, his channel, TWD98. He has so many great uh, Mario Kart challenges over there, custom tracks, mods. He does it all. It's freaking phenomenal. He is on top of his shit. He even does loser challenges sometimes for his things. So yeah, very very similar, uh, very similar framework to verses in some ways. But yeah, dude, thanks for coming on. Thanks for being a thanks guest. Thanks for having me. We should do Mario Kart Wii next time. <sighs> yeah, we'll do Mario Kart Wii next but time. But I will have to handicap myself. <laughs> <laughs> There's ways to handicap yourself, right? Yeah, I'll like use the Wii wheel or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, or right. like a really bad vehicle. Sick. I know this is yeah. like itching. Oh no! Oh no! Cut it, editor! Cut it! Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button and notification bell to know when Versus uploads more videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more episodes.